Hey everyone, let's have a little chat about Reproduction by Ian Williams. This is quite a hefty book and normally it would be something I'm all raving about, but I don't know. I kind of feel I want to say it's pretentious, but I hate when people do that. So trying to summarize it, I have to say it's not something I would read for the story, not saying that the story is bad or uninteresting, but I would love it for the writing. So let's back up a little bit. What is this about? It's about Felicia and Edgar who meet at one fateful night in a hospital where both their mothers are lying in the same room and they have one of these night-long conversations where you share your deeper thoughts and insights. We all know these before sunrise movie style things. And things evolve from there and end up in reproduction. Yes, making children and results from that and then years later events going again and then we do another time jump and events. Vague, trying not to spoiler but I will go into more detail now. So the writing in this book is amazing. It starts off by telling us the story from both their perspectives. So it starts off as a dual narration. We have point of view from Felicia, point of view from Edgar and we quickly notice that they seem to misunderstand each other quite a lot. Felicia is 19 years old. She's a black girl from a never named island. Edgar is uh, older. I don't know if we actually find out how old in the beginning, but I think he's in his mid thirties at that time. German man who lives in Toronto. That's where they are in Toronto. So the whole thing is playing in Canada. So there are a lot of things that are already playing into them being able to misunderstand each other and playing into things how they think, how they see life, how they talk. And English is for both of them their second language. So there are things that we already can see as the reader. The two characters, of course, don't see. And we see how things evolve between them after the event in the hospital and how things continue a lot from different perspectives. And then we have a shift in narrative style. This is what happens a lot and is a lot of fun to see how the author uses narrative style to tell different stories, how the way he tells a part of the story affects how you feel. For example, there are chapters called sex talk and they move very fast and you have snippets of conversation and it really draws you in. So I can't say that this book, despite it being very big, was a slow read. You were always in the story, in what happened. You were invested in the characters to a part. I noticed at some point that I just wasn't interested in what was happening. I was enjoying reading it. I was enjoying reading about the characters and I was enjoying trying to figure out why he used this way of telling this part, why he does this now. It kind of felt as solving a literary puzzle. That's why I'm thinking pretentious. It's partly that I know a book shouldn't be a puzzle, but this book feels like a perfect literary puzzle where you're trying to figure out what's going on, why is he doing this? And there are still some things that I couldn't figure out why he does the thing with Edgar's name all the time or names in general. I'm not really sure where that is about, but it's fun if you're like me. The story itself is also an interesting story because we have these two characters who are so different in age and in background that we have their relationship and the child that evolves from that and how that goes and how lives progresses. Towards the end, I finally figured out that this book has two types of characters. Basically, we have the manipulative asshole male character who doesn't take responsibility for his actions. On the other side, opposing them, we have the very naive young females who grow into capable and competent women. And it is very interesting to see. I don't know if I missed something, but for me, all the males got stuck in where they were. No matter at what time in their lives we met them, they didn't really evolve. Whereas the women really had a progress of moving forward, sometimes still being stuck in something. But I always felt that they were more capable of dealing with life, dealing with the things that happened and in general. So 
that is an interesting part of the story and also how this patchwork family let's call it like that evolves and gets together and how it sticks together so it's also interesting and i'm thinking that why i'm not so captivated by the story is my own problem at the moment that i'm kind of over family stories i think all the family stories i read recently that focused on a family narration going through generations the interactions between the different family parts and where the family went i got bored by those stories so the writing in this book actually is what made this book readable for me and likable and enjoyable whereas the story if it were told in any other way i don't think i would have been interested in it at all so that is a good thing i would highly recommend reading reproduction if you like books that play with writing that play with narrative style that really don't just tell you the story by plain prose but make you think and make you really figure out like who's talking now what's going on where are we what time and it is fun to read so i guess i recommend this book to people who are like me who prefer writing over stories sometimes if you're just a plot driven person i don't think you will enjoy this book okay that were my rambly thoughts about the book tell me in comments if you have read it what you thought about it if you're curious about the book if maybe the review inspired you to pick it up Tell me. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.